into six left, keep out and six left, mine is open. Attention, go cinq plus, cinq plus un. Rutio, rodera, derecha, derecha, buena parte, tierra y atrás. Give me for a moment, but it'd be rude, wouldn't it, not to indulge in a little bit of noise. <laughs> this is more like it, the Col de Torini. It's awesome to be here, one of the greatest driver's roads in the world. Now, earlier, it was pouring down, there was thunder and lightning, even hailstones. And that's bad news because this is a majestic road, it is a beautiful road, but it is also a road that takes no prisoners. But it did give me a chance to think about what sort of car works well here, and I think what I'm really saying is you need a good hot patch. With there no longer being a road-going homologation requirement in rallying, that link between competition car and road car isn't as strong as it once was. However, I think it's fair to say that on a road like this one, the sort of qualities that make for a successful rally car also make for a good road car. We've become used to driver modes in performance cars and the i30N has plenty of them. On a road like this one, the initial temptation of course is to select the maximum attack N mode, but the beauty of having a custom mode is that the car's different dynamic elements can be tailored to the road and also my own personal tastes. There's a sort of rhythm to driving a great road like this. It's a form of concentration, of heightened concentration. It's almost like a trance. And the more you drive the road, the more you begin to understand its true character. You learn where you can push. You also learn where you must show caution. And it's that kind of knowledge, combined with the ability to choose the right tyres, that has often meant the difference here between winning and losing. In this car, through this scenery, on this day.